Learning time. So today's lesson is the opposite of yesterday's lesson. Um, yesterday was all about complementary angles, which are two or more angles that add up to 90. Always 90. If it's complementary, it equals 90, no matter what. If you hear the word complementary, 90 automatically. Now, supplementary, same thing. Just now we're talking about 180, the full distance across. In fact, you know what? I will show an example of that here. Supplementary, okay? Supplementary angles. Two or more, it could be more, but I'm leaving it at two. Two angles that add up to 180. Always 180. If I'm telling you these two angles are supplementary, they equal 180, no matter what, okay? So, <coughs> I have two angles that are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. My first angle, the one that I've been given, is 125. Okay, the one at the bottom. 125. So, X... We don't know. We don't know the second angle. I said there's two. We know that one is 125. I don't know the second. So X, the unknown, plus 125 equals 180. So um, we've seen this. We've done this. We've already mastered this skill. So now you can begin to understand why we learned this method is to use it in different ways. So this is one of the ways we can use it, from figuring out the unknown angle. So... I have a positive 125. Opposite of adding 125 is subtracting 125. So if you do it to the left, left, you have to do it to the right. So you do it to the left, you have to do it to the right. So when I add and subtract 125, that's a positive 125 and a negative 125. Those cancel each other out and send it to zero. Okay, they are opposites. Now over here, I have 180 minus 125. Let's do some, you know, work. I'll turn it so you can see. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Okay, so uh, I can't take zero from five. Okay, if you have nothing, you can't give away five. So I have to borrow. I'm going to borrow from the eight, making that a seven, making this a ten. 10 minus 5, 5. We're good. 7 minus 2, 5. 1 minus 1, 0. My missing angle, 55. So I will do the drawing and the arrows. So this got canceled out. It no longer exists. I have to bring down. I bring down the x. x equals. Let's get rid of that. x equals. 55 degrees. So my one angle is 125. I use that information to find the second angle of 55. So down here, I immediately write in 55. Uh, same worksheet as yesterday, but supplementary problems. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, what is Friday's lesson? Let me take a look real fast while you're on camera. I know it's great entertainment. Tomorrow is area of a parallelogram. So area of parallelogram is an easy area. It's the easiest of all the areas that we have. So it'll be area of parallelogram on Friday, and then starting next week, you'll have a Monday, Tuesday lesson. Wednesday, Thursday lesson. Um, I think Friday is area of a triangle, which is also easy, so that'll be just be Friday. Remember, so on Monday, it'll be the, um, the worksheet that's attached to my 30 day. And then I will upload a new worksheet. Okay, so you need to make sure you are here with me. Right now. Okay. <sighs> All right, Stingrays. Drafts tonight. NFL draft. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, Farhan just gave me a lot of information about Ramadan. So maybe uh, getting up at 3 a.m. does not sound very fun for a month. Um, I praise you guys that do it. Um, if I were in class, if we were in school right now, I would make sure that nobody else could eat in class. Because um, it's not very nice. It's not very fair. But uh, we're not there right now. So. All right, Stingrays. See you tomorrow.